Hi there, this is Michael from the 7 Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT and uh, these comments I'm going to use the first letter of the username that you use at my Voxipop site, S. So you completed the second pretest for the second part of my 7 Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. So right now in the pretest you're trying to get some advice right now in a few areas beginning with syllable division and grammatical word endings word stress, sentence rhythm, intonation, thought groups, and blending. Now if I had one one word I think to describe your pronunciation there's a, if, if there's one thing that I think you want to work on right now it is exactly the tone, the intonation. So that's really what you want to really focus on I think in my lessons right now but anyway thank you for doing the pretest and I do have some lesson recommendations for you so you might want to write these down okay are you ready lesson 30 in lesson 30 focus on words that end in S-E-L-F self and where the stress lies with those words also you want to focus on your numbers of 10 and teen numbers for example 1330 that was a little bit difficult for you also lesson number 32 I recommend you focus in that area also lesson 34 lesson 35 lesson 35 focus on the can versus can't she can go she can't go this is a little bit difficult for you also lesson 36, lesson 39, lesson 40, lesson 41, lesson 42, 43, and 44. So those would be really, really good lessons for you to focus on right now. Now when you're studying the lessons on word stress, the main thing S that you want to think about is word stress actually has four characteristics. You want to number one in, in multisyllabic words you need to identify you know which word which syllable needs to be stressed but also you want to make that stress syllable clearer, louder, longer and higher pitched. So you're not really changing your pitch that much and that's hurting your tone. So in order to correct or improve your tone and to make it sound more natural, you have to first start with word stress. Now also remember when you get into intonation, we also have to think about tone, obviously, and, and there's a lot of good lessons there to help you in that area also. Now the other thing, when you're studying my lessons on thought groups and blending, once you group a certain group of words together that becomes a thought group and if it's not the last thought group in your ideas or your sentence that thought group must end with rising tone so that's also very important now in terms of your TOEFL speaking uh, this could cause you some trouble because the IBT human raters they're really focusing when they listen to your pronunciation they'll focus on your word stress they'll focus on your intonation and they'll also focus on your pausing. So these are areas that I also recommend you focus on right now and by doing this it really helps improve your your delivery and your delivery is your pronunciation and if your pronunciation is good uh, it'll be much easier for you to complete the TOEFL IBT speaking tasks. Okay now one other bit of advice as you're going through the Speak Clearly lessons uh, take some time to read out loud with me all the videos in this part of my my TOEFL course they're actually captioned which means you can read with me and say everything that I say and that's also going to help you a lot in terms of helping you improve your pronunciation of American English find opportunities to watch TV on a regular basis listen to the radio on a regular basis this also gets you used to the sounds and how we produce or pronounce the different consonants and the vowels and how we put everything together uh, in ideas. Alright, anyway, good to hear from you again and uh, have a great day.